everybody, Shane Severson here, Legacy Realty. We are here to do our January market update. I'm a little behind. I had already shot this video, and in editing, we uh, uh, came to the conclusion that the audio and stuff it was not great. So I'm gonna try these speakers and see how this does. But anyway, we're gonna reshoot that. So I am a little late, I apologize, but we are doing our January market update. So let's jump right in. Uh, the market is insane, as you know and you're hearing, but let's talk about some of the statistics and how these break down. I've been talking about a lot of these numbers and a lot of the trends and what's going on, so you're going to hear a lot of repeat um, from things that I've been talking about in times past, but let's jump into to our average closed price. Keep perspective here. Um, in January of 2020, our average price was $512,167. So $512,167. January of 2021, we are sitting at $593,600. And fifteen dollars. Now that is an increase of sixteen percent in one year. Now many people are thinking that has to be a bubble. If there's no way we increase sixteen percent, and I will say we didn't. I've been talking about this for a while. Those are inflated numbers. Let me explain how that breaks down. Um, COVID, <clears throat> when COVID hit we had um, something happen that's a little unique, and that is the, the uh, economy has hit kind of the lower impact. A lot of the service industry and a lot of that has been impacted. So uh, a lot of the lower end homes have not been, um, not been selling. We didn't see many this last year homes sell in that lower price range but it really did not affect the high price range. So we did see a lot of high-end, million-dollar-plus homes sell and sold for top dollars. So what that did is it took our average, if you have 10 homes and you take three off of the small end and you add them to the high end, that's gonna bump the average price. It doesn't mean your home necessarily jumped 16% but it makes the numbers look like that. So our 16%, that 593,000 is a little inflated. It's not really an average number right now. Um, and uh, I believe, and I've been saying this, I believe we're still at about a 6% increase. So I would run your numbers and plan on that. I think we're running about 6%. I'll show you that here um, in later videos why I believe that to be true. Now here's the thing that I've been talking about and I would expect this to come and uh, we will start seeing this here shortly and that is you are going to see the news media and a lot of the uh, a lot of the media around you're gonna start saying that we had a big crash. Now what's gonna happen is, as things start opening up because of COVID, we're gonna see the lower end homes start selling again. Higher end homes will continue to sell, but some of those that uh, maybe weren't planning on selling that did sell, uh, so we won't have those coming in the future, you will see that now that will drop our average price and it'll make it look like it's lower than what it actually is. And the news and the media, you're gonna hear a frenzy that see, COVID finally took a crash in Denver. The, even Denver, the top real estate market in the nation is crashing and uh, don't listen to them. It's uneducated information, it's not true. Uh, it's just gonna readjust those market numbers back. I suspect that we will be at about a 6% increase for the next three to four years would be my projection. Um, and I think those will hold true um, and we'll see what happens in the future. So the market's crazy, prices are increasing. Uh, a lot of that has to do with our month's inventory, our active listings and so forth. So let's talk about those. Our month supply. So last year, again, just to keep perspective, last year we had a 1.3 month supply. Now we were talking about how that was crazy low 
unprecedented, uh, lowest that we had seen in a long, long, long time, 1.3 months supply. Fast forward last month, so 11 months later, uh, I've been posting videos that this is the lowest inventory in history. So we were at 0.6 months supply last month. We have now surpassed that, and in January 2020, we are at 0.5. This is the lowest inventory in history. In fact, we are 260% lower than last year. You heard me right, 260% lower than last year. This is, this is craziness, and this is what we're seeing across the nation, but especially here in Denver. So let's talk about our active listings. Our current active listings right now are sitting at 2,492. Now we gotta, we gotta keep perspective. This is, sounds like a lot, but that is actually the entire Metro Denver area. That is every single house in every single area in every single price range. We're talking from $50,000 little, you know, apartments, places, to $100 million mansions um, that, that are listed. That is every single house. So 2,400 homes is all, really not all that much. And uh, so it kind of skews our numbers a little bit. And last January, just to kind of give us again some perspective, we were at 5,887. So you can see we're less than half the inventory has dropped in the last year when we were already saying last year we had no inventory. We literally have nothing on the market. If you are a buyer right now, and you are, and you probably already realize this uh, because everybody's saying it, but if you try to go find a house right now, uh, you are competing with 30 other people on one home. There's literally nothing on the market. And it's times like, uh, I've been doing this 22 years, I've never seen anything like this. So um, just to give, again, I keep saying this, but we gotta keep perspective to give perspective. Back in 06, 07, we had 25,000, 30,000 homes on the market. So we're talking going from 25 to 30,000 homes on the market to 25 homes, 2,500 homes on the market. We're like 10 percent of what we once were uh, years back. So what's our takeaway from our market update in January? If you are a seller, if you are even thinking about selling, you need to reach out now. Take advantage of this market. Do not miss this market. It will not last like this forever. So reach out, give us a call. These are unprecedented times and you can take advantage of that. So reach out. If you are looking to invest, you know I am investing. I'm, I'm buying a new rental here and close this month and I'm really excited about that. So always looking for good rental possibilities and I teach our people to do the same. If you are an investor, now is the time. In Interest rates are the lowest in history. Our payments, because of that, are the lowest ever. It, it's crazy, these interest rates. And we can see pretty much a guaranteed um, increase. So we got guaranteed results. Nothing uh, you would rather have as an investor than increase in your uh, value and the interest rate is almost, I mean, it's almost free money. So take advantage of this if you're trying to jump in to investing. Give me a call. I would love to chat with you about that. And lastly, if you are a buyer in this market, I know how hard it is. I know the pressure you feel on you. And I know that you hear from everybody how hard the market is. Can I tell you, we are getting people under contract as buyers. And can I even say we're getting good deals on these homes? You just really have to time the market. You have to make sure you know how to go in to get an offer accepted and you just have to move quick. So give us a call. We have lots of strategies and lots of scenarios that we're running and getting our buyers good deals and we can time that out for you. I hope that helps. I hope that's good information. Uh, if you have any questions on this, it is crazy times. Give us a call. We would love 
to chat with you and talk about your next financial purchase. God bless. I hope that helps. We'll see you next month.